Hello everyone. Just little puts around in the garden today. And what I'm intending to do today is pull up these shallots and replant with some, it's got some lettuce there, some more sprouting broccoli and a few leeks. And what I want to do is, that's quite an unusual thing. So I want to plant leeks on top of or where shallots have grown just for the city, you know what I mean? Just for more experiment than anything else. See if that's like a no no or anything like that. Now, I was intending to do this today, but I don't know if you can kind of see. Just get down, get down and dirty there. there. It's all soaking wet, the ground, and it's been dry here for weeks now. We haven't had any rain or anything like you know, water. We've had to do it all by hose pipe you know like individual warden last night the biggest storm i have seen in a long long time i was just sitting watching television and you know you could get like pitter patter and then down she came and see, i grabbed my camera and this you can see it there this is outside the front the front garden which i need to do an actual update on the front garden but you can just see it is torrential and it lasted like that probably an hour up here in the northeast of England so I wanted them to be a little bit more dry so what I might do is just leave them until tomorrow I mean this will all be on the video now because they'll just you know a blink of an eye it'll be tomorrow for use but I intend to pull them up put some I just want to pull them up nice and gently and then put some compost down now as you know I used all my compost <laughs> in my bins in those two like raised beds so over there in the compost bin, I've got some soil improver, basically a compost as well. So I'm going to put them bags on because I'm now having to use like board bags. So the idea is to put the, the soil improver on that bed and then just straight away without any weed and without any, just, you know, put that on and let it go, plant them in. And again, it is, I mean, it's coming up. To when I'm recording this there now the 19th of July so it'd be nice to see especially you know the sprouting broccoli will that come you know it'll, it'll be nice to see because we have had pop over here a nice crop from this one as you can see there she's scalped a little bit a lovely crop the other day so if I can get them in I might as well put them in and if they don't come then it's all good compost in the end so i'm interested in it, like i say as well with the leaks to find out if they'll be you know any good if you can see signs of like planting on top of more you know onions and that be a nice little experiment and it's just a little little bit of fun just to keep keep the garden going through the late you know the late october september you know possibly into november you know bringing out some food there you go then. So, we'll wait 24 hours and I'll be back. Speak to you soon. So, it's been, what, 24 hours there now since I was chatting on about them, them shallots and, you know, taking them up. And I've been thinking, and I'm not going to put the leeks there. And it's not because I don't want to plant, you know, where onions have been or where shallots have been. I don't want to plant leeks. Not even, that's nothing to do with it. It's more this bed. This bed that I'm sitting on hasn't worked for whatever reason. I don't know. The, the beetroot hasn't come through. And it's starting to come through with just. And it's just going to waste the bed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the leeks in this bed. Maybe leave the, the beetroot in there. We'll see how I'll go. But put the leeks in there. And I'm sure I've got enough sprouting broccoli on that side. Just to kind of have them nicely spaced out. And, you know, like I say, cover it all with the, the compost. And go for, go for that way instead of you know putting it all into that bed and still clinging to hope that this might grow this this one bed might grow i'll show you what i mean you can see there it's <laughs> it's looking so sorry for itself you know and i think i don't know i don't know if it, it's me or you know the seeds but there's two different types of beetroot Two, they're not, because everyone's saying, oh, go for Bold Hardy. Now, it's not Bold Hardy that I put in there. One was Golden Burpees, and I forget what the other one was. So You can see some of them are coming through, but do I leave them in? I don't know. 
and see how it goes but it's certainly not as exciting what I thought but what I'm going to do then is I'll put the leaks in there and if the you know if the, the, the beetroot comes up as well all, all the better so let's get cracking on I mean you can see it's still you know what I mean there was so much rain came the other day but you know gently just to get these out because I don't want to dig the, the ground but you know they're all right clean them up that all will come off that's good and actually I'll take some home today as well so what I'm gonna do is pick up all these and I'll stick it on time lapse so you can see an old fella working fast <laughs> There we go. So I'm really quite impressed with these. This whole bed was, you know, a kind of an afterthought. You know, it's always next to the polytunnel and it's sometimes I kind of don't think it's not gonna work very well, but these have just been left to their own devices. You know, and we've had like say no water or anything, but there and I bet there's I bet there's about 300 bulbs there, you know what I mean? So that's gonna do a great kind of help to the the household the smith household so that's part one so i'm going to cover it now with the compost there you go that's what i'm using keith singleton's just naturally organic soil conditioner i brought four bags over It'll probably take four, but we'll see. It's only a couple of inches deep. So we'll see how that goes. bags there and it's given a good nice layer and I had to do it this way because I'd use all like say in, earlier I used all my compost earlier on doing the, the bed so this will give it a great boost this bed as well but even without the you know the, the compost what came out was just perfect you know I'm really pleased with what came out so what I'm going to do is plant the lettuce and the sprout and broccoli and hopefully we'll get something we'll get something you know even if it goes to compost, it's all for the garden, you know what I mean? It's all for the benefit of the garden.
So there, there you go. There's the the bed done. It it's fine. You know what I mean? I'm I'm quite pleased. Whether it the lettuce will certainly come. You know, maybe hopefully we'll get some some you know cuts from the the sprouting broccoli. I haven't, and I've got them, you know, but I haven't put on those collars, and I didn't last time when I lost a few, but I'm here on, on, on YouTube, and that, that there's a few, just even with the collars on, you know, the, the, the white fly, the little bugs getting into the root, so we'll see, there's enough there, surely they'll let us have a couple. <laughs> The harvest of the shallots. I'll keep moving them around. I just put them in there as quickly as I can, just to get them dried off and shake the soil off later. So hopefully, that'll be good enough for them, and that'll last for a fair while. Right. Take care.